especially living down here in the Keys with the powerful sun, it's always important to talk about skin care. Now, our talk on cosmetic dermatology will pick back up this morning. We're going to focus on some procedures that can give you a more youthful and fresher looking appearance. Renee, thank you for being on the show with Thanks me Thanks for having me. Well, it's wonderful having you here, Renee, and I, I want you to start by telling our viewers everything that you do at New Leaf Skin Care. Okay, well, New Leaf Skin Care is the only practice in the Keys that's dedicated exclusively to facial rejuvenation. So basically we focus, my main focus is on injectables, and that includes a couple categories of things. It would be the neurotoxins like Botox and um, Dysport, and also the dermal fillers, which include things like Juvederm, Restylane, Radius. Um, they're, they're very popular procedures because as we age, we lose volume and fat in our faces where we least need to lose it. and. Um, and we often end up with kind of a flat looking appearance and a lot of lines and wrinkles as we all know as we age. So these procedures are really popular because they can give you an, a really effective, beautiful alternative to actual um, cosmetic surgery uh, with minimal downtime and, and really nice results. People will look at you and say, wow, you're looking good, you look refreshed, you look rested, but they won't be able to put their finger on just why, because it's very subtle and very natural. So that's good. So you make sure that people don't have that artificial look. Absolutely. That's, that's my philosophy, is to make you look like you looked a few years ago. We can't take someone who's 60 and make them look 30. We're just going to make you look really good for 60. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, wonderful. So. That's mm -hmm. wonderful. Now, do you have anything new coming up for the fall, Renee? Yeah, one of the things I'm really excited to be bringing online is a laser type skin resurfacing procedure. And it's called the Portrait Plasma. It's the only one in the Keys. And um, I'm really excited about it because in addition to um, resurfacing, it can take care of pigment. People, you know, in this climate, we get a lot of people with red and brown pigment from the sun and of course the lines and sagging that comes with aging. This modality um, addresses all three of those things. It helps with texture, it helps with skin tone, and it helps with um, pigment. And it does so with the, the stronger procedure, there's about a week of downtime. However, the results are long lasting. You continue, it deepheats the dermis um, beneath the surface of the skin, so it stimulates collagen production. So it actually puts your collagen on high speed and you continue to see improvement, actual tightening of the skin for up to a year after the procedure. It can also be used on the neck and chest, so a lot of women as they start getting that crepiness in the neck mm -hmm. or we get sun damage on the chest, on the decollete, um, because that skin is very thin, even mm -hmm. thinner than on the face, um, this can help rejuvenate all of that and it's really remarkable what it can do. Wonderful. And what is the price range on this, Renee? Is it reasonable? It, well, it's, you know, it's, it's all relative. I think everyone varies so much in what they require. It's really better to come in for a specific consult and, and talk about it, you know. Okay. And now, is that what you recommend for all of your clients? You know, maybe they're a little unsure if they need any mm -hmm. procedures done to them. No, it's totally individualized. Mm -hmm. I have clients um, in all age ranges and in all types of skin conditions. Um, so the, the best thing to do, how to find out what you really need, is to come in for a free consult and sit down. And I'll spend a half an hour with you talking about what bothers you the most, what I see that other people might perceive as signs of aging, and then come up with a plan that fits in your budget and your, uh, your perception of how you want to look and, and come up with an individualized plan for you. Some people don't require anything. And if you don't require anything, I'm going to tell you your skin looks good and send you out maybe armed with some good products to help maintain your skin, but no procedures. Um, I did that recently with a lady who was actually in her 50s and she was shocked, but I'm like, your skin is beautiful. So mm -hmm. she, um, as a result, ended up sending me about six of her friends <laughs> because <Aww. laughs> they knew I would tell, her, tell them what they honestly needed. Mm -hmm. Everyone is different. Everyone's skin is different. Everyone's um, skin damage, sun damage is different, so it's really very individual. 
that would be good to go in for an appointment and to be told that by you that you don't need anything. <laughs> well, done. some people fortunately <laughs> are in that in that category. Not everyone, not all of us are that fortunate. But okay, now before we go, real quick, could you tell us? This is a common question I get, and people don't know the difference between Botox and fillers. Okay, they're they're two very different categories. Botox and Dysport are in the category of neurotoxins, and what they basically do is disconnect the bridge between the nerve endings and the muscle that make the frowning, squinting, the various motions that cause fine lines and wrinkles. So when you inject Botox, it's typically, typically not always, but typically used in the upper part of the face, so the forehead, the frown lines, the crow's feet can all be addressed with Botox or, or Dysport. Um, and what they do is they break that connection. So it takes about a week or so, a little bit more, for them to be fully in effect. So the wrinkles gradually relax and the, lo and the muscles that make that frowning motion are relaxed for a period of several months. Now your body's very smart and your nerve endings will regenerate. So over time, of course, the full motion comes back because the nerve endings regenerate and, mm -hmm. and reconnect the bridge to those muscles. Um, so Botox is and Dysport, the toxins are typically about a four month um, repetitive process. You know, it's, it's not a one time thing. Okay. Fillers, on the other hand, are more of a gel type consistency and they are actually put right into the lines, usually in the lower face, not, again, not always, but usually in the lines from the nose to the mouth and the marionette lines that women get as they age. Um, it can be used to plump cheekbones and things. So it's something that um, you see immediate results from because you're actually putting a, a, a material right in those lines to plump and fill them. Um, the side effects with those can be some minor bruising, a little bit of swelling for a few days, but typically you can get fabulous results with little or no downtime. So it's really a nice alternative and can hold off the surgeon for many years in, in most cases. Wonderful. And for more information on this, you can visit Renee at New Leaf Skin Care Key West. Thank you so much for sharing all this information with Thank us. Thank you, Jenna. I'll be right back. Stay with me.